Sunset Boulevard. It's a film by Billy Wilder. This is my first Billy Wilder film. It was released in 1950. It's a classic. It is considered a classic and indeed it is. I, you know, uh, I started watching the film and I, in my head I was just taking my own notes like, oh wait, they, they introduced this character and then the character was not present for the next 30 minutes. So I'm like, hmm, why are they even doing it? Like, why did I see that that person why did i see this location because there's a lot of uh voiceover and then like okay he's explaining something about a character he's explaining something about a location but why is he and then once you get to know the characters it's all a setup the setup is so good because the payoff is good and with the payoff they can he starts playing with it billy wilder gives you chunks and he gives you pieces but those pieces are just that you you realize like you remember them and as soon as you go ahead with the film you you remember what you what you had seen earlier and then you you start uh, having your own predictions and uh, the, tarantino says this i'm going to be paraphrasing it but he says like as a, you should not be able to predict everything about a movie you should like st how when you're reading a book you do not know what's going to happen in the book. You can have a prediction, but some, sometimes when you watch a movie, you already know what's going to happen. If it's going to be a tournament, you believe like, oh, they're going to win the tournament, something like this. But in a movie like Sunset Boulevard, you're not really able to predict. You do have an idea, but uh, things just keep on happening, keep on happening. Like you, you might be having three, four options in your head how this movie might play out, but it does not usually... It does not play out that way. Um, I like the movie. It's uh, it's not a long film. It's an hour and fifty minutes, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. Uh, thirty five. Uh, I'm not even sure about this. So it, it seemed like to be a thirty five aspect ratio, thirty five millimeter aspect ratio. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really good with the technical technicalities, but that's what I think. I feel everybody should watch this film at least once. I I watched it. I would like to watch it again. It it, it it's funny. There is a lot of humor in the film. It's it's a lot of d d dark humor. You don't really understand if you're supposed to laugh, but it is it is funny. I enjoyed the acting of everyone. It it takes you. You know we have heard these stories. It's basically a film about Hollywood and screenwriting, and you know about these things. You have heard about these things. Maybe. Uh, we have heard it now in 2022 when in 1950 there was still like hush-bush about it like people were not speaking too much only rumors but uh, with how much I got to, how much I read about the film there was a lot of research done on the Sunset Boulevard while Billy Wilder I am not sure where he's from but um, when he used to hear stories about uh, America and he came to ca live in California the, the capital of Hollywood and he would be on Sunset Boulevard and he would see all these big mansions of the stars of yesterday, the 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 stars of the silent films. And th they were living alone. The time had passed them. And he and he started generating a story out of that. The last thing I would say, I'm not I'm again not sure about this, but I read it on Wikipedia. So I don't really believe everything I read on Wikipedia. But apparently he did not know how the film would end. And I somehow even I felt but even I felt the ending was a little odd, but my theory is if I get involved in a book or a movie, you you generally do not like how it's going to end because you just don't want it to end, but it has to end. So that's what, man, You everybody should watch it, whoever sees it. Like five people are going to see it, but watch it.